friends today's topic of discussion is a problem which was asked in paper which is related to the chapter direct and bending stresses a pillar is square in section and has side 1 meter the value of axial and bending stresses are 300 kN per meter square and 287 kN per meter square respectively determine resultant stresses draw resultant stress distribution diagram also state whether the load line is within core or not so here given is axial stress that is direct stress sigma not is equal to 300 kN per meter square and bending stress that is sigma b is equal to 287 kN per meter square and now we have to determine the resultant stresses the for formula for resultant stresses is sigma max is equal to sigma not plus sigma b here we get 300 plus 287 that is 587 kN per meter square and sigma minimum is sigma not minus sigma b that is direct stress minus bending stress so we get 300 minus 287 that is 13 kN per meter square when we plot this or draw this this is the resultant stress distribution diagram this is the sigma maximum which is 587 and this is sigma minimum that is 13 kN per meter square and this is 1 meter which is given as the side of the square section so we get maximum and minimum stresses and it is asked whether the load line is within the core for that the load is within the core because the resultant stresses are compressive in nature so here we have 13 and here we have 587 so the resultant stress is compressive and not tensile that's why we can say load is within the core so this was a problem which was asked earlier in examination from the chapter direct and bending stresses please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching